Hello friends, welcome back. Our today's topic is trigonometry and friends, this is the third video on trigonometry. So I will suggest you to please watch the previous video on trigonometry to understand this video in a perfect way. So friends, as you know, trigonometry is one of the very important topic for railway, UPSC, CDS and SSC exams. And friends, for central government exams, this topic plays a very important role because more than 5 to 10 questions will be asked from this topic. So friends, in our today's session, we are going to learn the science of trigonometric ratios. Okay, the science of trigonometric ratios. Friends, most of the students will be confused in the science of the trigonometric ratios. In our question, if suppose they are asking what is the value of sine 225 degree, what is the value of sine 135 degree, then it is very difficult for a student to calculate the values and the signs. So first we will understand friends what is the sign conversion, how do we actually arrive at the signs, I mean the conversion of signs and then we will be calculating the value of sign 135 degree and sign 225 degree. So friends please try to understand it here. So this is our this is our x and y axis. So this is our x and y axis so this will be x okay and this will be nothing but y. So x and y will be perpendicular to each other. So perpendicular to each other means friends the angle between x and y degree will be nothing but 90 degree. Now friends so the first thing which we need to know is the signs of the trigonometric ratio that means sin, cos and tan. So what will be their sign in the quadrant. So friend this is my first quadrant. This is my second quadrant, this is my third quadrant and this is my fourth quadrant. So friends generally uh, this will be here all, all trigonometric ratios will be positive and here A S here only sine will be positive and T. So here only tan will be positive and here only cos will be positive. But now friends how all signs will be positive, how only uh, sine will be positive, how only sine will be positive in second quadrant, how only tan will be positive in third quadrant and how only cos will be positive in fourth quadrant that I am going to teach you here. So friends what you do, you make a triangle here, you make a triangle here, so okay so this will become a right angle triangle and this is nothing but your perpendicular, hypotenuse and base, it depends upon the angle also friends. Now friends hypotenuse we do not count only perpend on based on the perpendicular and perpendicular and base we are going to decide the sign so friends sine theta so sine theta will be nothing but friends sine theta will be nothing but perpendicular by hypotenuse now friends you see perpendicular is nothing but so this will be nothing but x axis all positive values and friends this you can see this will be nothing but x x is negative values, y x is positive value and y x is negative value. So now friends you can see the perpendicular, so this is the perpendicular, so perpendicular is all positive here. Perpendicular is all positive here because this will be in x and y axis both are positive. So this quadrant, this perpendicular will be nothing but positive. So friends sine will be nothing but perpendicular by hypotenuse, so hypotenuse will do not count, perpendicular is positive, so in this quadrant sine will be positive. Now what will be cos, so friends cos theta will be nothing but cos theta will be nothing but base by hypotenuse. So friends base you can see, so friends these values you can see, this is again friends, so base by hypotenuse. So friends you can see the base will be nothing but in x and y quadrant, so this value will be nothing but positive. So this first quadrant everything is positive, so cos will be positive because these values will be positive. And friends tan, so tan will be sin by cos, so this will be also positive. So friends in first quadrant sin, cos and tan all will be positive. In second quadrant friends, so again you make a triangle here. So friends again you make a triangle here and then friends you can see sin. So sin, cos and tan, sin, cos and tan. So friends sin you see perpendicular. So friends this value is nothing but this value is nothing but this value is in y axis. So y axis is positive here. So sin will become positive cos. So cos is nothing but friends base by hypotenuse base you see friends so base will be minus x so your minus values will be there on the x axis so cos will become minus. Now friends tan will be sine by cos so plus divided by minus will become minus. So here only sine will be positive and friends here you see so here as we know tan will be only positive so again make a triangle here friends again make a triangle here and then see sine. So friends sine. So sine if you will see friends then perpendicular, so perpendicular is nothing but friends minus 
minus values on y axis so sin minus cos so friend this base is nothing but so friend this base is nothing but on negative x axis so minus and friends tan will be nothing but sin by cos so minus minus will become plus so friends you can see tan theta will be positive in the third quadrant and friends again you make a circle here again you make a circle here so friends you can see uh, sin so sin will be nothing but perpendicular so perpendicular is minus a uh, perpendicular is there on minus y axis so the values will be minus cos so when base you can see so base you can see friends base will be positive so this will be nothing but cos will be plus value and tan friends so tan will be nothing but sin by cos so minus divided by plus it will be minus so friends from here what we learnt is in first quadrant in first quadrant all trigonometric ratios will be positive okay in second quadrant friends in second quadrant in second quadrant it will be uh, only sign will be positive in uh, third quadrant friends in third quadrant only tan will be positive and in fourth quadrant friends in fourth quadrant only only cos will be positive okay so friends this if you remember then calculating this value will be very easy for us and if you do not keep that in mind so friends this is where i taught you how the values see everybody knows a is tc that means in first quadrant all values all our ratios will be positive second only sine third only tan and fourth only cos but here we saw how the values all values will be positive sine will be positive so this we learned here in the next video friends i'll be teaching you how to calculate this value but in the next videos also we are going to use this so please keep that in mind and then only watch the next video so friends thanks a lot for watching the video i hope you understood how to get the sign of the trigonometric ratios thank you friends